thank you very much, dear advisors, and congratulations to the honored graduates and completers. It has been said that the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to his or her commitment to his excellence, which results to the sweetest fruit of their success. Cyrus Raven M. Merida, grade 6 with high honors, will now deliver his words of gratitude. A round of applause, please. Thank you, sir. Walt Disney once said, all of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. To the class of 2022, we have done our best and showed courage and ready to face another milestone in our journey to success. A beautiful and pleasant morning to our school administrators, headed by our Reverend President, Father Gaudencio G. Pugat, SVD. Our everyday heroes, led by our hardworking principal, Professor Edna R. Cabillo, loving parents, and fellow graduates. This momentous day marks the end of our elementary years and the beginning of another journey, our high school life. Our graduation is a crucial step in our voyage of life because of the immense sacrifice put into pursuing it. It is an act not only of personal commitment but also of pride. Graduation is not an end goal, but a part of long adventure of life. Wherever our future takes us, let it take us somewhere where we are happy and satisfied. Life is a journey, and we should take each accomplishment during its course as a starting point for further achievements. Our graduation should be a launching point, projecting us to wherever future we are meant to tread. We had many events that influenced most of our beliefs during the days in the past six years. We learned about science, math, religion, grammar, and many more. I believe that the Rubik's Cube represents our elementary days since the past six years were like a puzzle. We can turn it around but we can't turn it in any direction without planning. Otherwise, it will lead us to failure. As we finished grade one, we solved a part of the puzzle, but we still had a long way to go. As we went on, we saw more and solved more of the Rubik's Cube. As we went further, we learned new and enjoyable things in the class with new friends, and we already got used the struggles of school activities. But then we realized it was only the beginning as our lessons became complicated and there were loads of assignments and more responsibilities to tackle. Our puzzle got more complex as we made mistakes. So we decided to make life simple and easy. As they say, just slow down and take your time. We were already done with our puzzle in our fifth grade, and suddenly, we finished it in our sixth grade. Our elementary days honed our values, refined our characters, and built friendships. Speaking of impossibilities, I didn't thought that my elementary life was stimulating. Good and bad things happened in those long six years. For me, a student's life is a continuous game of friendly competition and our goal is not always to be the best but rather learn in every situation that will come along the way. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. If we focus on winning, we will be discouraged or disappointed in ourselves when we lose. 
Losing should be one of the lessons we must learn early on. We need to accept our losses for us to try harder in our endeavors. Make these losses as the stepping stones for us to achieve the ultimate success in our goals. We are now equipped with knowledge and gained lessons that I believe more valuable than the lessons taught in the textbooks inside the four walls of our classrooms. The lessons we learn in this academic institution are just specks of rocks that we can group to make mountains of insights and knowledge throughout our lives. Of course, I would also like to take the chance to look back and thank all the people behind the seemingly impossible success. This opportunity to speak in front of you would not be possible without their massive help. My admiration and love for our almighty God are eternal because he made me exist, gave me strength and wisdom, showered me with unconditional love, and provided me with people who support me to achieve the milestones that I have today. To my beautiful mommy Eileen, a million thanks for your support, love, and care for me, even though you are miles away. I will never forget the things my uncles and aunt did for me. Your support, your words of wisdom and encouragement really meant a lot. I will not forget Mama Carolina and late Daddy Franklin who passed away last year who so, who take, for taking good care of me and loving me since I was a baby. You were the ones who taught me the real meanings of discipline and responsibility. You made me realize why I need to study well in order to have a better future and be on the right track. My gratitude may not repay all the sacrifices and things you've done for me, but I truly appreciate all your efforts. I would also like to thank our class advisor, Mrs. Karen Mercedita P. Hamias, and all the teachers, our everyday heroes who taught us valuable lessons. Your patience in dealing with us, your support, kintay sag paminsan a panangugit mo kada kami, tap no agnakim kami mam, will always be in our hearts. The past two years of our grade school life was affected by the worldwide pandemic, the COVID-19. Our lives changed but we never gave up. We attended our classes virtually, always at home, and away from each other. We missed the occasions, school activities, bonding with classmates and friends. I am pretty sure this was not how we envisioned our last year in elementary, but it is definitely an experience that we will never forget. It is kind of sad that there are lots of things we missed out on our last day together in our real life classroom setup. But what makes it sadder is that we failed to experience a tight hug from our friends, a fun and interactive discussions with our teachers, and the plain yet deep conversation with our classmates. But still, we didn't let those missed moments deter us from the excitement we had experienced on our first day of virtual class. Let us all be grateful to our teachers principal, and to our parents who made our last day in elementary worth remembering. Despite of the ups and downs of life, we stood up and thrived until this momentous day. All of our stresses and worries are now just things of the past. We graduate today because we put our emotional, physical, and mental powers at work. We brought glory and honor to ourselves, to our families, to our teachers, and to our alma mater, Divine Word College of Lawag. May we savor and enjoy this day as we can finally call ourselves the graduates. So my fellow graduates, give yourselves a pat on the shoulder for a job well done. We did it. 
So congratulations everyone and good day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cyrus Raven M. Merida.